continuing with our exercise, we're going to pick up on page 346. We had just used the color picker to choose a white foreground and a dark green background. Let me go back now to my standard size zoom. You see that I'm down at 300% right now. I'll go back to 100%. And I need to do the 100% because I want to add text on page 346. One thing, I remember when I was learning to do this, I found out the hard way is that you can't put text in unless you're at 100%. So we'll click that text button up there. And then having preset the colors we want, which will be a dark green background and a white foreground, we can go ahead and, uh, do, I, do I still have it? Yep. We can click and drag a box. We can, oops, my mouse is touching something. We can, having, <laughs> what's going, there we go. Having selected the text tool, we can go down here, I don't know where, somewhere down here, and uh, we'll click and drag a box. They said to make it something like 430 by 90, so. Looking down at the bottom, I can't I can't click and drag and show you, but to the left are the other numbers. Oh, I didn't do a very good job of dragging, but I can always resize it, can I? There, 430 by 90. Doesn't have to be exact, just has to be big enough to hold the text we're going to put in it. Now that I have dragged my box. If you look up at the top, we have a text tools tab that now opened and gives you font choices. And the, this one is important. People always get stuck on this for the homework between opaque and transparent. If you look at the pictures, it will tell you what it means. Opaque means you can't see through it. Transparent means you can see through it. A transparent background is not the same as a white background. Transparent means you can see through the background. It probably shows up as white, but you can see through it. The third word that they don't use here, but you should know, is translucent, which means you can kind of see through it, but not exactly. And if you know, like, glass block in a building, that would be an example of translucent. So here we have, then we're going to choose, they told us to choose um, there, choose, got to find my mouse. There we go. Choose an opaque background, and that means that dark green will show up. And then we're supposed to choose uh, Lucida Sans font and size 48, which you could choose or you could just click and type. I'm going to do that. All right. Coming down back into our text box, we're going to put a space at the beginning just so there's a little border there. Normally you wouldn't, but we need a little border. And we're going to type Grove Village. Ooh, I got it on two lines. Okay, make it a little bit wider. There we go, Grove Village. And then we'll save again. And now we're going to make what will eventually become the second line of text. We're going to choose, uh, um, right now we're green, dark green and white. So what we want to do this time is make dark green and dark green, and then we're going to choose change color one. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's go back up to the color picker. And we want this to be a foreground color. So we'll come down and left click on there. So those are both the same color, color one and color two. And then for color one, actually they're going to have us edit the color. So we'll come over to edit colors and we're in the greens category. Mm, I don't know art words, okay? So I can't tell you the exact, but these are like shades of the same color. And I'm just going to drag up until I get to some, I don't know, lighter, still green, but lighter and click OK. So now I have a lighter green for the foreground and a dark green for the background. That's a, not a very nice, I don't know, I'm going to try again. 
don't take your time, right? One more, one more try. Yeah, maybe that's a little better. Okay. And then on page four, 348, then we're supposed to click and drag a box, another box, and put it on the right-hand side, but how big? Yeah, another box. So we'll come back over to here, and we'll click the text tool, and we'll make us another box. I'll make it the same size, because I'll fuss with it later anyway. And this time we want San Lucida Sands and size 30 instead. And I'll do the same thing. I press the Enter key after I type that number. I'll start again with a space to put a little border and Veterinary Pet Clinic. There we go. All right. While you're on this box, you can do something with it. But once you click off that box, you're done. That's one thing about paint that's very fussy. I just saved again. And that's six minutes, so I'm going to stop this one and we'll start another one on page 349 is where we'll stop the next one.